Hi, I'm Dakota here at the Patch Office located in Spencer, West Virginia. Today we're going to be learning how to create our own balloon game. Let's get started. We're obviously going to need, obviously to, pop going to, need to pop here, up so Scratch here, so we're going to go to scratch.eu, type that in, go to the Create section. We're going to begin with our blank canvas. I have everything set up for what we need. We need one sprite, two balloons, and our own sprite that we made called time is up. To find these two we need to go to the choose a sprite and they'll be here on the second row third sprite. You can choose whatever backdrop you want. I chose this little room. We'll start off by coding our little runner. We're going to have him set to zero zero in the middle of the grid. We're going to go down to our events. We're going to need one green flag and all four move arrows. So let's go ahead and drag these out. We're going to start with our green flag. So we're going to move these out of the way for now. For our green flag, we're going to have our first block be our looks. We're going to have him set to a smaller size. That, that way he doesn't take up a majority of the screen. We're going to have him set a score to zero because this is a game. We want to set this to score. Set score to zero. Then we're going to put him in our zero zero and we're going to have him point this way next we're going to work on our down arrow for our down arrow we're going to have him point 180 We'll have him move 10, and we'll have him change a costume. For our left arrow, we're going to do the same thing, but he's going to be going negative 90. He's going to move 10, and then he's going to change his costume. Our up arrow, we'll have him do the same thing. Have him point zero, move ten, and change his costume. And last but not least, our right arrow. I have a point ninety degrees. I'm going to make him move ten, and then switch his costume. That is all the code we need for our cat or whatever sprite you will be using. We're going to move on to our balloons. Now these two are going to be very similar, but one minor change within both of them. To start, we're going to need a green flag. We're going to have it set its size to 50. We're going to need a forever block. We're going to need a clone block. So let's find our clone. We're going to make a clone of itself. And it's going to wait every one second. Then we're going to need this when I start a clone. We're going to need a go to, and we're going to need an operators, as in we were going to do pick random and pick random. We're going to need it to point zero degrees.
we're going to need its costumes to switch. We're going to have two different costumes. First, we're going to convert this to a bitmap. And every costume needs to have a little bit of a remodel. So we're going to convert it to a bitmap and we're going to start taking pieces of the balloon. A little bit of ways from it. That way it looks like it was popped. There's our yellow balloon. I'm going to do the same thing to purple. two different costumes. We're going to label these popped. We're going to label this one whole. Same thing goes for this one. Popped and whole. We're going to have it switch its costume to whole. Or I have it show. Now we're going to need our forever block. It's going to do forever move 10 steps. It's going to wait 0 0.1 seconds. It's every 0.1 seconds. It's going to be if touching it, if touching our little cat. Touching the cat. Switch costume to popped. Wait 0 0.1 seconds. a sound and depending on which balloon that this code is in we're going to have it change its score so we're going to change the score here since it's the purple one I'm going to have it change the score by negative one and we're going to have it hide we're going to do the same thing over here for our yellow balloon grab our green flag and when I start to clone our size set to 50 forever block create a clone and wait one second when he starts as a clone we're going to have him set as a random zero and zero. Have him point zero degrees. Switch him switch his costume to his hole. Have him show our forever block. Have him move ten steps. Wait 0 0.1 seconds. If he touches the cat, so we're gonna grab this. Switch his costume to break slash popped. 
wait 0 0.1 seconds play the pop sound change the score by uh, one and then hide now we're going to move on to our final sprite which is our time is up we're going to need a green flag a hide we're going to need a timer variable we're going to make a new variable called timer. We're going to have it set over here. We're going to set timer to 30. We're going to need a repeat of 30. I have them wait every second. Change the timer by negative one. Have him show. And then stop everything. For these, we're going to have to mark out our x's. So we're going to need it to have negative 226, and then our positive 217 on the x axis, and then our y's. Have him float up. Should work, so let's go ahead and try that. This purple one is not popping. So we need to fix that. timer works and our score works but our purple one is not
change this. Our X is set. go. Every time we touch our yellows, our score goes up. Every time we touch a purple, our score goes down. Let's see how many score we can get. everything is working so hopefully this taught you how to make our own little balloon game can't wait to see what you guys make